Hello folks, my name is Mark. This is Why I Hate the World. How are you guys doing? So uh, every once in a while I like to kind of go through and check my uh, comments and messages and things and, uh, you know, answer some people. Because some people have some things to say and they don't really like making videos. So uh, let's start off. This is uh, by a guy named Frank Stark who was um, posted on my latest uh, incel video. I think it was... Um, you know, our incels terrorists now or something like that. And let's see, Frank Stark. I think I have a solution. You just have to expose the hypocrisy that is feminism using the concept of social justice. It works like this. Tell fems that since people can't choose their race, they can't choose their looks either. Tell them they can destroy the incel community with love. All they have to do is find the ugliest loser they can and throw themselves at them. Fair is fair after all. They won't do this though, not if the incel is white. Incels don't have white privilege. There's a lot of horse shit to unpack in this comment. Um, first off, it kind of subtly implies that feminism is to blame for inceldom among, you know, <laughs> young men, which is total fucking bullshit. Okay. Um, feminism is not the reason you can't get laid, right? And feminism didn't make people like um, Alex Meneisen or L.A. Roger go out and kill people, all right? Feminism is a social movement, right, based on, um, with, the, with the goal of equality between men and women, okay? And like any other movement out there, it has its wacky people, right? It has the crazy kind of radical feminists who believe in crazy-ass things, right? But, you know, for the most right most part uh, mainstream feminism has very um you know practical uh goals and ideals and is generally you know i think on the right side of history but you know there's there's nobody out there telling women not to have sex with ugly dudes okay that doesn't come out of feminism it's just human nature how do you even arrive to that conclusion you know, that feminism, feminism is the reason why you're not getting any. Like, it kind of makes it sound like, you know, like if they were to just get, like, in a time machine and go back in time, like, say, a hundred years, right? Uh, you know, 1918, before feminism really was a thing in mainstream, you know, mainstream uh, among, like, women in America. And it kind of makes me think that they think they'll go back in time, you know, they'll step out of their fucking... Uh, you know, DeLorean and stuff, and, like, all these women will just throw themselves at them, <laughs> right, because they're a man, and they're just, you know, they just deserve to get pussy, and it's like, bullshit, you know, there was no time ever in history where, you know, a woman will look at a man that she's not attracted to, and then decide to go off and have sex with him, that doesn't, that never happened, that was never a thing, ever, in the history of ever, Take a look at Alex Meneisen. Look at his picture, right? Look at Elliot Rogers' picture, right? They're not ugly, these men. They're not, like, hideously deformed chuds with, like, genetic defects and welts and crap all over their fucking faces. They're, like, normal people, you know? I mean, they don't, they're, they don't look hideous and gross and disgusting. They look like normal people, right? There's no reason why either of those two, two men shouldn't have been able to, like, go out and talk to people and eventually get a woman, you know, get a girlfriend. There's no reason why either of these two guys shouldn't have been able to do that just based on their looks alone. And it's because there's something more than their looks at play. I'm going to take a wild stab at it and say it's their personalities that suck. And I'm going to say that 99% of all these incels that out there, right, who are claiming to be like subhuman little fucking, you know, ogres and stuff. That's bullshit, <laughs> right? It's utter fucking bullshit, you know? I mean, here's the thing is that even people who do have problems like that, have genetic, you know, genetic uh, abnormalities that make them ugly, even those guys eventually find mates, you know? I mean, fuck, man. Look at Stephen fucking Hawking, <laughs> all right? There you go. Perfect fucking example you know, I'm sure he wasn't drowning in pussy when he was, a, you know, when he was young and in college and stuff, right? But even he managed to, like, you know, get married. In fact, I think he was in the middle of a fucking sex scandal <laughs> back in the 90s, if I remember right. So it's like, don't tell me this shit that you're, like, some kind of fucking subhuman, 
It's bullshit. While we're on the subject of incels here, one more comment. This comes from Autumn Leaf 2011. Keep picking on these guys and more will die. Careful on the sidewalk, not trying to say this is cool either. Now I kind of already addressed this comment once in one of my previous videos, but I kind of want to I want to bring it back again. This comment kind of disturbs me cuz I mean if you listen to it, basically, you know, this person is warning us like things better change or more people are going to die. How exactly do you plan on changing, you know, the way that human beings interact with other, with each other by running people over on the sidewalk? Like like what do, what do you think is going to happen? You think you're going to go out and kill a bunch of people and then everyone on earth is just going to suddenly fundamentally change human nature and like women will want to have sex with ugly men? Do you think that's what's just going to happen? It's like, you know, they're just going to terrorize women into fucking you. That's it doesn't make any sense. I mean, like me, I'm I at one point had a pretty long dry spell. I'm sure most guys out there have, right? But at no time did I ever, like, consider murdering people as a way of getting laid. It's like, it doesn't make any sense. It's idiotic, and it just kind of shows... I mean, it's it's like, I don't even... I don't understand it. It's so bizarre and mentally ill that I, I just can't comprehend how that even becomes something you consider. Okay, so I get a lot of uh, comments basically people talking about my action figure collection, which is behind me. I mean, you can see all of these. It's pretty extensive. Um, I did make an action figure video uh, about, you know, six months ago and have uh, considerably added on since then. <laughs> what can I say, man? You know, here's a comment from a guy here. Onyx Razor Thicket. Stop spending money on figurines and buy some swag. It's like... What the fuck is swag supposed to mean? You mean like gold chains and shit? It's like, fuck all that. That's, I don't know, stupid, you know? I mean, that's the thing. It's like, you know, why would you spend money on shit like that? Like what, gold chains and rings and, and, and like people who like pimp out their cars and all that. I mean, I, I guess it's, it's whatever you, whatever you're into, all right? If that's your thing, you know, you like having jewelry you like having spinning rims and, and lights under your car and all that other crap and and fucking like, you know, gold teeth and sunglasses that are like $300 and whatever. Fine, you know, that's who am I to say that you shouldn't do that, you know? Some guys like to, some guys like to have expensive tastes and they like to buy, you know, personal accessories that are like fucking expensive as hell, right? Some guys collect stamps, <laughs> all right? Some people, um, do things like, you know, they collect DVDs and books and comics, right? Some people buy, um, you know, really expensive clothes because they want to look good. And some, you know, a lot of guys out there will spend, you know, they'll bag on the shit that I buy, saying that I'm a man-child. And then they'll go and buy a pair of Air Jordans for $500, right? Because they're like one of the original ones that came out back in the fucking 90s. I mean, it's, do that. Go on, go on eBay search for Air Jordans originals, all right? Look how much that shit costs, right? People are spending money on that kind of crap. That's your thing, you know? Who am I to, who am I to judge? You know, you like collecting shoes that you'll never wear. Be my guest, man. I like to buy action figures. This isn't even all of them, <laughs> all right? And fuck, you guys should see my comic book collection. It's even bigger than this. Who am I to complain about what other people buy? You know, I spend money on shit that makes me happy and if you don't like it, you can, you know, I'll bend over and you can plant your lips on my big hairy ass cheeks. All right. <laughs> anyway, so I have a video on the 56% face, which gets a lot of, uh, got a lot of views for me. I mean, my average video doesn't even get a hundred views, <laughs> right? So when I get one that gets like, you know, you know, 1500 like that, it's kind of a lot for me, right? Which is great. And uh, I got a lot of comments on that video um, to the effect of how your ancestors define you. Uh, here's one here from Agro-Saxon, uh, because it's not like your ancestry defines you in any way, right? Have fun having no identity beyond shallow. Your consumerist choices that you proudly display all around your room like a child. <laughs> right? Uh, wow, okay. Nice command of the English fucking language there, buddy. Second one, um, Liam O.D. Uh, I'm proud to be white. 
we have made so many inventions and discoveries. <laughs> right? Another one, William the Conqueror. This is a pretty recent one. Why wouldn't you care about your heritage and ancestors? They built our way of life. They built our society and non-whites like you were destroying it. You are the 56% mutt and you are a man-child. Wow. Okay, so first off, what am I doing specifically to destroy our society? All right. How? How the fuck, you, how the fuck am I destroying society? I mean, I've got a good job. I own a house. I have two cars, <laughs> right? And a pretty big, you know, retirement, uh, retirement savings. Right? So what am I doing exactly? How am I destroying? I'm contributing to the fucking economy, alright? I mean, see all of this shit back here? <laughs> okay? I'm spending my money, you know, and I think I'm doing pretty well financially, to be honest. So, I don't know what all this destroying the society shit is, you know? I mean, if you think anyone who's destroying the society, it's the fucking, you know, skinheads and shit who are dealing drugs, <laughs> right? going out there fucking burning crosses and crap like that. You know, criminals and shit. I mean, those are the people who are fucking trying to destroy society. You know, I'm helping, I'm advancing fucking society. Fuck, man. I mean, listen to this, this other thing here. It's like, you know, non-whites who are destroying it. It's like, yeah, okay, that's fucking bullshit. <laughs> All right. I mean, it's no, you know, they, you get a lot of baloney from the alt-right talking about how, like, you know, minorities and stuff are all criminals and all that stuff, right? That doesn't change the fact that, like, you know, there's more white people in prison than any other group, <laughs> right? Including black people. I mean, there's a disproportionate number of black people in prison per their population. But as far as raw numbers go, more white people are in prison than black people. More white people uh, are on welfare than any other, you know, group, minority group or anything like that, right? More white people are drug addicts than any other group, right? It, because they just happen to be the uh, largest number of, you know, the largest demographic in the country, right? So how can you really tell me, though, that the other groups are destroying society when this one group, you know, is more of, you know, how does that work? How does it work when more of this group is doing all of that bad shit, but yet you're going to blame it on these people under here who all in the raw numbers are less. It, it doesn't make any sense, you know? You know, I mean, in, in any pretty much metric, in any metric, you know, you could, you could say white people are destroying the society, right? You could turn that around. So it's like, you know, don't feed me this load of fucking shit that like, you know, it's genetic and, you know, Black people and minorities are genetically predisposed to being criminals and all that other crap because the numbers just don't fucking match that. Secondly, we have this idea here that, you know, your ancestry defines you. I, I take issue with that shit because your ancestry, you know, I mean, it's, it's nice to know about and it's, it's cool to think about and even be proud of, but does it really define you? You know, what does it say about you specifically? Like, not much. Not really. Not, you know, it doesn't really matter what people, you know, in your far off past who may or may not have been related to you actually have done. Like, how does that affect your life personally? Like, you know, like here's this one from Liam O.D. here, right? I'm proud to be white. We've made so many inventions and discoveries. Well, that's nifty, but how many have you personally made yourself? You know, what have you discovered? What have you invented, right? I'm going to step out on a limb and say nothing. Jack shit. I don't think you've invented anything. In fact, I don't think you've contributed to society very much at all, <laughs> all right? I mean, what have you invented? Maybe a new fucking frog meme? Is that what you've invented? Like, get the fuck out of here, right? You know, like, it doesn't matter, right, what people in the past may have done. You know, people that lived in the general area where your ancestors lived and had the same fucking skin color. I mean, if you really want to get down to the nitty gritty, right, a lot of the inventions that we've had in the last 200 years came out of Western Europe, specifically. England, France, Germany, all right? So a lot of the inventions that kind of gave birth to the Industrial Revolution 
came out of those areas. And if your ancestors weren't, aren't from those areas, then you don't get to claim those as inventions, do you? You know, if you're, uh, if you're from, you know, Sweden or some shit, then you don't get to say that, you know, your ancestors invented the printing press just because, what, they're also white. That's bullshit, All right? Number two, a lot of the inventions in the last hundred years came out of the United States, <laughs> right? People forget about that shit, you know? The airplane, the computer, Wi-Fi, you know, computer memory, fucking, you know, electricity, <laughs> all right? Electricity in your house, you know, uh, uh, fucking nuclear power. I mean, Jesus fucking Christ, a lot of the stuff that we have nowadays that makes everything possible. Th this camera, this fucking pad, right? All of this stuff basically came out of inventions that were created in the United States by Americans. So if I really wanted to like get into the nitty gritty, I could, you know, if we're going by like what country you were born in, then I can claim all of that shit as mine, <laughs> right? Have fun with your fucking, move, you know, printing press with movable type, right? I'm going to like be riding on my space shuttle <laughs> on the internet with my iPad, you know, it's like, get the fuck out of here. And number three, you know, th this also kind of like ignores all the horrible things your ancestors did as well. You know, I mean, not all of your ancestors were genius inventors. Like, for example, in the 13th century, three quarters of Europe's fucking population died from the Black Death, right? 450 million people, roughly, right? From a, from a disease that was transmitted by fleas, right? because they were too fucking stupid to take baths, <laughs> right? They were so filthy that fleas and shit would just get everywhere and pass this fucking, you know, this, like, disease on. You know, something that basic fucking sanitation would stop, right? You know, I mean, think of it, but that's not, I mean, just go do some research on this stuff, right? People were fucking disgusting back then, the world over, but they were really disgusting in, in Europe, you know? Um, there's like a, there's a very, very interesting Wikipedia article, <laughs> right, on dreadlocks and platelids is what they call them. When your hair gets all matted and cause it's all nasty and it's got dirt and mud and feces and shit in it and leaves and all that other crap. And it turns into this big, huge, nasty dread. Apparently that was a very, very, very popular thing in Europe in the Middle Ages, all right? So much that some places had to fucking outlaw them because people wouldn't wash their hair. So don't give me any shit about how your ancestors were all advanced and super and, and inventors and crap like that when history says otherwise, all right? People the world over were, you know, they're smart people, they're stupid people. There's disgusting people, there's geniuses, okay? It's a mixed bag. Your ancestors were also like that as well. You know, some winners, a lot of losers, <laughs> all right? Most of them died without contributing shit. So I just think the entire notion that I should be proud, you know, I should be proud of who my ancestors were. It's bullshit. It doesn't, you know, be proud about yourself, right? Go out, accomplish something yourself. Go invent something, right? Go contribute to society. Make the world a better fucking place. Do that yourself. Don't tell me what your fucking ancestors did 500 years ago when it's, you know, some stupid bullshit that's not even halfway true, right? Do it yourself or shut the fuck up because you're a loser. Anyway, that's all I got, folks. Adios.